Welcome to the Accenture Innovation Center in Essen. Today we would like to talk about integrated inspections using drone or automated other vehicles like robots or other devices. Drones like this have been on the market for a long time and there has been lots of discussions uh, of using it in inspections and this has already been used in, by many clients in many cases. Um, some have really entire fleets of these drones available um, to do, for example, inspections of towers or flares or something, for things you cannot easily reach. And um, the problem is with that, that drones like these um, usually need to have a certain kind of supervision. In most countries, uh, it is only allowed to use them by line of sight. So someone has to be there and um, and always check that the drone, uh, what the drone is doing, where it's flying and so on. You can automate the process, like for example, this is a DJI drone. There's a portal for that where you can uh, program uh, automatic flights. However, you have to be always in the line of sight. And the second, second thing is, after you're finished, you basically take out the, the memory card of that drone, upload the data to somewhere, and then usually you have to manually check it, what has been seen. So someone is watching the entire video. So from an automation perspective, this is actually pretty bad because you need to spend the entire time of monitoring the drone, flying it, and then doing the entire inspections manually or visually um, um, after that. Now we would like to showcase an end-to-end -end process that automates the different steps along a typical inspection process. It has four steps. The first one is scheduling or planning um, the inspections. So for example, regular checks of pipes to see if there's corrosion. Or it could be also a case-by-case -case inspection. Uh, for example, seeing um, after a storm if there's damage, visual damage to a tower or a crane or whatever. The second step is to then schedule the actual flight of the drone and control it during the flight and doing the, um, then the data transfer of the pictures or videos taken during that. The next step is analyzing the pictures that we have taken, putting them into context, saying where have they been taken, what's the potential issue, and highlighting and tagging these potential issues for further inspections by an expert or, or, or so on. And then the last step is actually then completing the notification. So basically saying, okay, we have done the inspection process and these are the potential issues that we have identified. Please check. So let us now start to really go through the process and make it more tangible. We start in ServiceNow, uh, which is in our case the CMMS, and uh, it has an overview of all the assets that need to be maintained and inspected. And um, the maintenance activities can be either automatically created based on certain rules, or I am now here creating a new work order um, where I'm saying, okay, please do an inspection flight for a certain container crane um, at a certain date. So I'm, I can request now to the pilot um, to uh, do this inspection flight ideally at a certain date. I can of course also set this up as a recurring event. Uh, I could set up certain triggers um, for this or whatever. And, and this can also be done in SAP or other CMMS systems. Um, uh, but um, the approach is always the same. Um, and uh, the uh, uh, work is now handed over to the HALA Sky system, where we are then following up on the next steps. Before we now go to the aviation part of the process and really schedule and fly the drone, we should briefly talk about the other activities that are required around using drones in inspections. For every asset or every group of assets, you need to define the exact routes used um, and what the drone should do along the route. So for example, when should it take pictures? Which angle should be used? Do I want to film uh, the uh, asset or do I want to take photos? Um, this has to be defined once 
and you save this as a flight pattern or as an inspection route for further activities. We skip this here now. Um, we assume that this has already been done and the inspection manager has um, chosen one of these inspections that has already been predefined. Also, there is a large number of activities around the maintenance and continuous monitoring of the drones. All of this has to be properly logged um, so that you can make sure that you have a full record of all the activities around the drone maintenance, inspection and um, how the asset is performing. And this is all summarized under the headline workshop and we will also ignore this here now because we want to really now start flying a drone. The scheduler is responsible for doing the detailed scheduling when the drone should fly where and who is flying it. So I check the inbox and I can see that there is an inspection request for container crane 2. So let us now assign this to the drone. A new assignment is created. I'm confirming crane 2 and I need to select the pilot. The pilot is responsible then for uh, the actual flight uh, and for the monitoring from the control room. Basically this person is also liable for the activities. I select the drone and I select the date. Um, based on the start time when the uh, flight should happen and based on the flight patterns it predicts the finish time when it will end. And uh, I'm now assigning this uh, to the request I received from ServiceNow to report back that we are doing the drone inspection. This immediately updates also the status in ServiceNow. Now we need to do the pre-flight check. This is similar to what a pilot has to do um, when they prepare for um, launch at an airport. So we have a checklist. Um, an engineer in the hangar has to really go around the drone and do the checks and confirm this. And this is all stored um, and fully uh, archived for auditing purposes. Without this clearance from the local person in the hangar, we cannot start the drone. We are now in the pilot seat and we are confirming the base parameters, minimum altitude, maximum altitude and start the liftoff. So waiting a second so that it is confirmed. And we are in the air. Everything is real time. As a pilot in the control room, I can now see in real time on the map where the drone is flying. And I can, of course, also switch on the real time camera. I can abort the mission, do a safe landing or emergency landing. On the map, I could see other drones or other objects like helicopters or so on flying around that would be also visible here in real time. And we are also reporting the uh, location and the flight path of the drone to the authorities. After the flight has been completed, I need to again do a post-flight check where an inspection engineer at the hangar makes sure that, for example, the battery is removed and all the log files and the media have been downloaded um, and uh, uploaded to the Optelus platform. The pictures taken during the inspection flights are then uploaded into Optelus. This is the AI video analytics platform. It has here a view of all the um, incoming inspections that have been done recently. It's not processing them in real time. We do this by batch. 
could be also done overnight. Usually these inspection tasks are not so urgent that you need to do that immediately. So you can do it whenever you have CPU capacity available. Here are a number of uh, inspections that have already been processed. Let's go into one of them. And here we can see um, the pictures taken during that inspection flight. And Optelos is highlighting those um, with an issue um, with uh, a flag. The red boxes highlight those areas of the picture where the AI has identified potential problems. In this case, it has identified corrosion on plates that are very important um, at critical parts of the crane. This is based on an AI algorithm that has been trained to identify certain patterns, it could be um, um, colors or other geometric functions. So basically it identifies similar issues that has been seen before um, in um, the, this platform here. So we um, are reducing the effort here for the inspection engineers to look at all the pictures and look everywhere. Um, Optelos has already pre-qualified a few issues. And I can now uh, say here in the platform if I want to that I'm, it's not relevant and use this for training. Um, I can also add additional issues if I see them and mark them so that the AI system is getting trained um, uh, to find similar issues in the future. All of the um, potential problems identified here by the video recognition system are then reported back to ServiceNow to create, uh, for example, notification, like for example, an SAP, so all kinds of SAP, CMMS, Meridium, whatever systems that are out there, they all support more or less the same process. So based on the pre-qualification here, we could immediately create a notification so that uh, an engineer is then reviewing if this is really an issue, potentially send a further investigation directly to the crane. So this closes the entire process um, that we uh, have triggered originally from the CMMS system um, and then doing the inspection from the drone and in the end uh, creating notifications back to the inspection team of potential issues that have been identified. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are interested to learn more, we welcome you to the Essen Innovation Center of Accenture in the Zeche Zollverein in Essen in Germany. The description with the contact details can be found below.